Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And today we have to talk about how we receive news because it is changing and it may not be for the better. Now, here's what's going on. You know that if you go to any news site, I don't care if it's the New York Times or CNN or Fox News or MSNBC, you obviously see a whole bunch of different articles on their front page usually very carefully curated to display the news of the day or the most important stories and all of that. And that will actually soon be changing. And here's what's going on. According to multiple sources, Microsoft will replace multiple contract journalists on its MSN website and actually use an AI-enabled automated system to show news stories. Now, currently, the curation of these stories of various news publishers is done by journalists for MSN, and AI automated systems will now be performing those tasks. Now, according to a statement by Microsoft, and I quote, like all companies, we evaluate our business on a regular basis. This can result in increased investment in some places and from time to time, redeployment in others. These decisions are not a result of the current pandemic. Now, News organizations usually monetize their content through platforms like Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, Bing, etc., etc., and journalists are hired to decide which headlines and stories are to be presented on those home screens, basically for maximum impact, most important news, and obviously monetization. Around 50, per 50 contract news producers are about to lose their jobs at the end of June that have been working with Microsoft. A team of full-time journalists will still be remaining at their jobs to do a lot of the actual reporting, but not the organizing and curating of these stories. Journalists have been warning that AI uh, wouldn't be familiar with the strict editorial guidelines and may actually end up giving inappropriate stories prime time slots when it shouldn't. So we're going to see how that plays out uh, on MSNBC's website. Interestingly enough, Google is also experimenting with this um, AI-enabled journalism, if you will, uh, to cut their costs. Mart multiple artificial intelligence softwares are already uh, emerging that can also write human-like content. And that's something that I've talked about before. <clears throat> but I find this to be very interesting because when we go to whatever news source that we go to, we're expecting that there's going to be some kind of journalist, some kind of editorial content there that says, you know what, these are what we should see. Now we are allowing the artificial intelligence to pick how we are ingesting our news from whatever news source that we go to. In this case, MSN, Google, and, uh, and their news platform is not far behind this, which means the others will probably be doing this as well as a cost savings measure. And I think that's going to be very interesting to see. How will the AI adapt? Will that actually start changing how we are receiving our news how we are being informed as the public, even if humans are writing some of these stories, and maybe some of the most in, uh, important stories get buried on page 50 as opposed to page one. So I'm very curious to see where this goes. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, but sooner than later, when you are reading the news, understand that the news that you are reading was probably chosen by a robot. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.